Where the state ceaseth, there only commenceth the man who is not superfluous. I see. It seems this Nietzsche was quite a profound thinker. Or perhaps he skipped right past profound and went straight to crazy instead. Oh well, enough of that. I best go see the world for myself instead of burying my head in books. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Near Automata. At the moment, transport from the access point is not allowed. And I think the access point back in Pascal's village is knocked out anyway. So last time we had a lot of backstory dropped on us in text form, and today... Well, not so much. We have something entirely different today. Uh, the scene that we got at the start of this episode with Pascal plays just as you approach the access point uh, to teleport back to him with the book that we are borrowing from Anemone. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Yeah. Checking our spam folder and clearing that out is not the most pressing concern right now when it sounded like Pascal was in trouble. But we've gotten those calls from Pascal before. We got one at the end of Route A and B uh, when the village is under attack by Eve. We've had some shaky stuff go down uh, right before the crater was created by the Engels attacks. Uh, and we first found out about that in Pascal's village. So we're going to go check in and see how things are holding up down there. Oh, God. You know right away it's bad. Before the color palette even fully shifts to orange and you see the embers flittering around. Fuck. Pascal's second encounter with cannibalistic machines. Christ, this is awful feeling. But hey, at least Pascal's got 
the kids in a safe place. Uh, the rest of the village, not so much. Uh, we can't really see the machine shop trader or any of the other recognizable NPCs around here, but you kind of have to assume the worst. It's... They do such a wonderful job with Pascal that even if something bad happens tangentially around Pascal, it's just, it's gut-wrenching. And they do a great job establishing how much Pascal cares for everyone. So her pain is the player's pain. Whoops, that was coming down just as I was landing from that. And it even interrupted the uh, pod program. Blah. Didn't let that go off. Oh, man, this is going to be a rough episode. <laughs> Not for commentary or anything like that, but Jesus, emotionally, it's going to be a rough one. Also, trying to track down... Oh, it could still go... There was someone still in that burning hut. Uh, let's track down where this snake has gone. This snake is the most annoying part of this whole sequence. <laughs> Just waiting for it to loop around or trying to keep up with it. You know what, that's fine. That's also fine. Taking hits, just to get it down a little bit quicker. Totally okay with me. Whoops. Is that all of them? Pod, scan for survivors. Scanning. No life signs detected. None, huh? Pascal, can you hear me? <sighs> hey, too. How is my village? My people? I'm sorry. I couldn't help them. Oh no. Oh. Are the children all right? I've taken them to the abandoned factory. All right. I'm on my way. Hey, on the bright side, the access point works now. That's something at least. Oh. Well, let's get over to the factory where Pascal uh, has hidden the children away. At this point, it's been, what, like, maybe a few weeks, right, since the last time Pascal was in the factory watching machines cannibalize one another? During the, uh, the cult quest? That's a bizarre place for Pascal to take those kids, <laughs> even though she, like, he does establish that it's, it's safe now. And he is just inside. Oh, the music carries such a an enormous emotional heft in this scene. Hey, everyone's fine. That is such a relief. Pascal, are you okay? <sighs> Me too. So what exactly happened? I don't know. Some of the villagers just started to feed on each other. If you hadn't come along, I'm sure we would have met the same grim fate. Thank you. And all the machine children have some variant of that. Same dialogue. Query. We understand that machine life forms can regenerate as long as they possess the required materials. Is this accurate? Unfortunately, we cannot regenerate our cores. Cores contain the data which forms our self-consciousness. If one is destroyed, there is no way to restore it. We usually store our cores in safe places, but this time, the villagers had their cores destroyed as well as their bodies. I see. So is this factory safe? It was once occupied by a cadre of fellow machines that had gone berserk. However, 2B took care of that threat. It is quite safe now. We've been using it for storage for some time. All right. Still, if we're gonna hole up here, I wish we had more info to work with. 
proposal. Unit A2 should secure the safety of Pascal and the children immediately. What's the hurry? Haste is predicated on data obtained from the recently restored cross-regional pod network. Wait, there's more of you? Affirmative. Cross-regional data reveals a large number of machine life forms amassing around these ruins. What? Enforcements are infiltrating the facility. I'll smash them before they can reach this room. You, you must let me help you. I will smash them up and kill them. <laughs> oh, Pascal. We are gonna are they after us? decimate Why? these. We can sort it out later. Right now, we have to take them down. <laughs> oh my god! And Pascal with the alley-oop. So this is how dire this situation is and how much Pascal cares. Pascal is actually fighting alongside with us. And he is good. Pascal is strong as hell. But it is tragic in and of itself for him to have to go against his principles and his ideals and fight. But there's a pretty good reason for him to do so. So a note about that conversation. Pascal mentioned the machine cores that make up their self-consciousness. Those are the essential parts of them. They're essentially their souls. Doesn't that make you feel like dirt? Since we've been selling those little balls of, of metal for, you know, tens of thousands of credits. That's all they've been to us is vendor trash. They're machine souls. We're essentially just trading souls. Which, in this context, when they when they drop it on you like that, feels so callous and harsh and, and terrible. In another context, like in, say, Dark Souls, it's just the currency du jour. But here, it's that's such a casual reveal of that fact. They're still coming. They're not a two. I can handle this. These are not a legion of party tanks. Oh god. I'm so conflicted in this moment. Because... Yeah, this is super hype, but also, holy shit, the stakes here. Now we just wait until we can take some more steps forward and keep firing the guns. God, this is nuts. So we not only got to control 9S and 2A2, keep mixing those up. We also get to control Pascal in this in this route who controls an angles unit. Yeah. 
mine will definitely land first and knock him out of his animation. So you know that whole uh, punch out sequence in Wonderful 101? This is the closest thing we get to that. It's not nearly as in-depth, it's just punch the angles a bunch until it blows up. But holy shit, it's still fucking insane that it's happening. And it would almost be inappropriate for it to be more in-depth than that. I think we're gonna trade this time. Too? Yeah. Thanks for the assist. I fear for the children. Let us hurry to them. Look at that. We're still in control of Pascal. And A2 is just following close behind. I find that thematically really, really interesting for this moment. But we're gonna go check in on the kids. Uh, nothing appeared to slip past us, so... Fuck. such a thing. I taught them everything. All my thoughts and emotions. I thought it would serve them well in the future. But instead... How would teaching them lead to something like this? Fear. I don't understand. I taught the children what fear is. I felt they had to know so they wouldn't rush heedlessly into danger. But instead... Fear destroyed them. It caused them to take their own lives. If I knew this could happen, I never would have. A2, I need your aid. I... I cannot live with this heartbreak inside me. I need you. I need you to delete my memories. And if not, then I need you to kill me. So just as a heads up, this is a very real ass choice. To cut off memory circuits. You can either kill Pascal or you can wipe Pascal's memory. Understood. Initiating memory deletion procedure. You promised to read and memorize that botanical field guide, remember? 
you draw this out and force you to relive all of Pascal's <laughs> memories. All of Pascal's most recent memories, just to twist the knife. God damn it, near Automata. Uh, we will see what the consequences of that choice are uh, next time. That's the end of another A2 chapter, and probably one of the most heartbreaking ones in the entire game. Maybe that's debatable. Uh, we'll just have to wait till the ending to find out whether or not that holds true. Uh, we're switching back to 9S, and he is... His psychological state, as the pods are stating, uh, is worsening. Detected in vitals of Unit 9S. Proposal, commence data overhaul immediately. Pod, search for the other structural units. I need to find those authorization keys and destroy the tower. Alert, combat inadvisable during abnormal vital conditions. It's fine, run the search. Scanning, actively operating enemy large structural unit detected in accessible location. Marking location on map. I'm not sure if I finished this thought, but we're going to find out what the consequences of our choice with Pascal are uh, next time. So that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.